And at last, we've made it to Season 3 of the SO7 Online League. And the first race of this new season is the Stu Grey Maiden Hurdle, which is a two-mile event for five-year-olds. And up was the top one is Duke of Finsbury for Paul Rhodes' last-minute entrant. Paul Rhodes, we all worried we are going to miss him this season. Manitoba, Stu Grey, welcome back to Stu. Maslak Gacho for James Shea. Oscari History for Ben Benici. Perfect Gratitude for Paul O'Neill. Banana Boat for Graham Clitable. Culver Beach, Darren Thompson. Expensive Nala, Thomas Rogers. Houston, you know, Vinnie Gerrard. Jubilee Angel for Jim Murray. Limelight for Craig Beck with managed isolation for Craig Allen and Trojan Bridge for Martin Leedham. They're off and racing in this first race of the new season. And making their way down towards the first of the nine flights, which they've all successfully negotiated with expensive Nara on the inside. The early leader being chased by Maslak Gacho. So the two in the green silk leading to the second flight and over that one safely with looking towards the back of the one in green houston unit just the back marker at this stage so they're making their way down in there towards the third flight an expensive nala is the leader by about a length to Maslak Gacho in second and a gap of about three or four to the blue jacket Oscari history the first of the greys and all that one's inside is managed isolation with banana boat another grey also close up and then comes limelight with widest on the track the third of the greys duke of finsbury so they're racing downhill now then towards flight three which they've all successfully got over manitoba just the early back marker but expensive nala has gone on then by about three now as they get to flight four these flights come up thick and fast and expensive nala is a clear leader by a good two and a half leads to maslak gacho as they come up past the paddock and the stands and they'll swing right-handed for one more circuit of the track in this opening race of the season so who's going to take the first race and be the champion trainer elect after race one well, at the moment expensive nala is the leader by about three to Maslak Gacho in second and Oscari History in third then Limelight in the White Sleeves is fourth moving up on the outside there is Perfect Gratitude I think and Houston Una is also pretty close up but it's still this expensive Nala who's had an undisputed lead for some, some, some time now and went into the final seven furlongs and racing down towards the next flight with expensive Nala three clear over flight five Good jump though by Maslak Gacho in second has seen that move to within two lengths now. Limelight moves into third, then comes Oscari History Duke of Finsbury making a move on the outside. Wider still is perfect gratitude. Banana boat still there as well as they take the six. There's just three more flights to take now. Then Trojan Bridge and Manitoba struggling towards the back, but it's expensive. Nara is in the lead, but now here comes Jubilee Angel through to charge over the third. Last they go, and it's expensive. Nala kicks on again. They're queuing up behind to take this one on. Though. Expensive Nala by about two lengths to Duke of Finsbury on the outside, Jubilee Angel, Limelight, Maslak, Gacho is sticking on there as well, managed isolation trying to come through the inside, trying to swing around the outside is Culver Beach, but it's expensive Nala, with two more flights to take, and expensive Nala's led pretty much all the way so far, still leads by three. Racing down towards the second last flight. It's expensive Nala from Limelight who's now moved into second. Managed isolation on the inside is third. Duke of Finsbury still there in four. As they get over the second last flight, that leader jumped it slowly and he's now challenged by Managed Isolation. Coming around the outside though. Culver Beach looks a big danger. Limelight for another challenge as well. Four and on as they come to the final flight. Over it they go. Managed Isolation that gets away from one of the lead. Banana boats coming through. Houston Union is also there as well. But it's Managed Isolation coming to the final half furlong. Managed Isolation is in the lead by two lengths from Banana Boat in second. Houston Unit's third, Duke of Finsbury four, but up towards the line, it's going to be managed isolation that takes it from a fast finish in Houston Unit, but on about the line, like in Jubilee Angel and Duke of Finsbury, and all the way back to Trojan Bridge and Manitoba. So it's situation normal, really. Craig Allen takes the opener, and the two commentators are last and last but one. So managed isolation takes it for Craig Allen. Houston Una for Vinnie Gerard was second. Banana Boat for Graham Clitzbrook third. Limelight for Craig Beckwith fourth. And Duke of Finsbury for Paul Rhodes was fifth.